YouTube, what's going on? Professional Madden player T. Davis here in our favorite series from last year, the series you guys love so much. We're going to break down 32 team ebooks here right on the channel. That's it. Free offensive ebooks from all 32 NFL teams. So we're going to have some of the best money plays in every single playbook to break down uh, on the channel for you guys here. So whether you are a fan of the team, whether you use that team in Madden, it doesn't matter. We're going to break down the best money plays in every single playbook here on the channel in our 32 money play series. If you guys want more content, Content like this make sure to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube smash that like button and comment down below anything you want to see here on the channel if you're enjoying these free ebooks or what team you want to see me do next but we're gonna start at the top we're gonna to start you know we're gonna go alphabetical order but we will get through all 32 teams last year it was a huge hit everyone loves these 32 team breakdowns so I'm gonna do it here again on the channel probably gonna last a few weeks though trying to get all 32 teams in but don't worry your team will be on there so check out my playlist as well if you're not sure or if you can't find your team check out the playlist on my channel um, and just go through the channel in general and you'll be able to find your team so that's really it for the intro guys of course i have coaching sessions available i have 30 minute and 60 minute sessions if you guys want to improve as a madden player i've been around for 10 years have hundreds of thousands of dollars in in career winnings worked as the color commentator for ea sports for our big madden tournaments this year in the past few years so i know what i'm talking about a little bit when it comes to madden so check out the ebooks down below i have a west coast offensive ebook i have an indianapolis colts offensive ebook and i have a tampa bay buccaneers defensive ebook like i said the coaching sessions and film study reviews you can check out all those things and links in the description below as well as my social medias you can follow me on twitter on instagram if you have any questions or anything of that nature so that's really it guys let's jump in to the free ebook right now all right guys so today we're taking a look at the arizona cardinals offensive playbook this is the first playbook we're going to break down in our 32 team free ebook uh series here on the channel so make sure you guys are checking out all the videos here on my channel i'm going to be breaking down all 32 teams the best money plays pretty much free ebooks for every single playbook here in madden 22 so We'll get right into it here. We're going to break down some of the, you know, popular meta formations in these playbooks. We're also going to go some unique non-meta stuff. We're going to start here with the pistol spread formation. I love this formation first because it's symmetrical, right? Everything's lined up the same. So whether you want to flip your play to the left or the right, um, you know, whether you want to globally flip your play or not, it everything's going to stay the same. No, no receivers are going to move. No one's going to go in motion. None of the running backs are going to move, right? Everything looks the exact same whether you flip it or not has some great pl passing plays, has some great running plays. You can really get outside into some space uh, in this formation. That's why, you know, I love the zone alert bubble. I love the stretch. They got some good pass plays. But the play we want to take a look at here is the jet touch pass, right? I'm just going to run it versus, you know, random defenses here. So what you look for in this is, of course, you the goal is to get it to the outside with some space, right? And you kind of want to see if you can, you know, look on, onto the defense and see where you have the numbers, see where the defense is lined up. This, it's kind of a symmetrical type of look on defense. I would say, if anything, we have a little bit more of the numbers to the left because the defense is, you know, we see the strong safety over there on the right. We see the free safeties kind of in the middle. So they don't really have another safety over there on the left, right? So we want to have, we want to get over to the left side, follow our blocks, try to get outside and get in some space. So we'll go ahead and run it, keeping it to the left. So even get Rondell Moore out there, try to follow our blocks. We had a horrible block from DeAndre Hopkins there, but that's the look we kind of want, right? You want that one-on-one -on -one situation getting out there. Let's see if we can do it again this time. This time we get, we're just getting horrible blocks from our receivers. So one thing you could do also is maybe sub in a tight end out there. Uh, maybe get some extra blocking. This time looks like we have way better blocking. So you see that we're able to get to the outside. That's an easy 12-yard pickup. So that's exactly what we want. It's a quick easy play to kind of get your offense in a groove you also get credited for a pass for this so you get that easy completion percentage up for your quarterback if you're struggling you know you can get some nice momentum going now this time i'm going to flip it we're going to run to the right you see i flipped it nothing changed right i can flip it again nothing changes everything looks the exact same no one's moving and we're able to flip it run it to the right side here let's see if we can get some good blocking this time rondell moore just not blocking that's why i said i preferred to run that to the left because Rondell Moore actually has to go up to the strong safety there, that allowing this blocker off the right or this linebacker off the right to kind of come free. So it's not ideal here to run it to the right, but we'll try it again. Yeah, see that linebacker is easily getting uh, coming through. So we want a guy to block it. So that's why you always want to look to see where the numbers are. That's why we prefer to run it to the left here. So we'll run it to the left again this time, and this time we're going to get to the outside. We're going to follow our blocks. So you want to look for where you have the advantage and get out there, get out wide, and get into some space. Let's get into the next play. All right, guys, next play is somewhat similar. Another one of those little gimmicky plays where we want to get out in space, right? That's what the Arizona Cardinals do. You know, they run this, you know, the Mike Leach, Air Raid, Cliff Kingsbury type of offense where they want to get it to their playmakers in space, spread the field horizontally and vertically. 
So we're gonna go into the gun slot offset formation, right? And it has some cool, you know, you know, bubble gum gimmick type type of plays that we like here. But I'm gonna go with the RPO read bubble, right? And run versus run defenses again here. Now what you're looking for, you can either hand it off to the running back or Edmonds is gonna go on an auto motion. It's gonna create like a little bubble screen out here to the right. So depending on where we have the numbers, and I think we have the numbers to the left, I'm just gonna go over there and flick it to him to the outside, right? So, you know, I'd probably prefer to use the hash marks on this as well. So we'll even line the ball up over here a little bit. Give us a little bit more space out there on the left for Chase Edmonds to potentially turn this into a big play. So we'll see. We'll hike it, and then we'll throw it out there. And DeAndre Hopkins is just the worst blocker of all time. But that is the look we want, right? You want that one-on-one -on -one look out there. Now, you see this right here. This, they're lined up more on the left side. This time, I'm just going to hand it off to James Conner, right? Right up the middle. I'm just going to hand it off to my running back, try to get up there to the right side because they had more defenders on the left side. So it wouldn't make a lot of sense to throw it out there on that bubble to the left. This time, it looks like we have more numbers on the left again. We're going to go ahead and throw it out there, see if we can pick up a block. This time, we do. Chase Edmonds, we get him out there in space, and this time, it's a big 20-yard gain. That's exactly what we want out of this play. Let's jump into the third one. All right, this time, we'll go over to the Trey Offset Formation, just a basic staple in pretty much every playbook in the game. And the play we want to take a look at is Dagger. So many different things we can do out of this. I'm just going to come out in random defenses, right? So you can literally run this play stock because that's how good it is this year. Um, it's been good the last few years in Madden, to be honest. You go ahead, your reads are usually A to B. It's a high-low right there, the tight end drag. With that deep crosser to B. That deep crosser to B is one of the best plays in the game. We also have that backside dig route here to X. Um, or square on PlayStation. What, triangle or Y on the streak is just there to kind of bring the zones back. We're not really ever going to throw that streak unless it's a blown coverage. So let's go ahead and hike it here. We should have D Hop as we scramble out a little bit. Look at him wide open on that crosser route. Obviously, try to get your best route runner in that position there so that he can make a big play. Um, you know, you see lights up here this time. They're going to send a cover zero, and you can't run a cover zero versus D Hop with Kyler Murray at quarterback. So we just roll out. We throw that deep crosser. If it's man coverage and you have a good route runner there, he's going to beat that all day long. This time, I'm just going to go ahead and check it down to my tight end. So it's always a high-low read there. They were playing more zone coverage. They were playing back onto B, so we just check it down to A for the simple uh, read. This time, they're forcing me out to the left. Let's see if we can get Ertz open uh, on the drag. We can. That was pretty good coverage right there from them. So then the other things I want to mention here, one other little adjustment you can make is go ahead and put your running back on a little out route, right? There's so many things you can do out of this play, and we'll break them all down quickly here. But running back on the out route, these running back out routes are absolute money this year in Madden. That time it wasn't open, but luckily we have an escape artist quarterback. We did have B on the crosser there. So if anything, the defenders kind of go out to guard the running back. You're going to have Hopkins come behind them. So that creates a nice little high low read out there as well. But this time you see how good these out routes are. I mean, that's an easy 10 yards, and we only threw it about 2 yards, and it turns into 10 yards because these halfback ins and out routes our absolute money this year in Madden 22, especially on the next-gen console. Same thing here. We're, you know, the flat defender doesn't even stay with him. I mean, that's all day long. We'll go ahead and do this setup one more time, and then we'll get into a couple more. And I'll take, once again, we check it down. This time it was a Tampa 2, but it's just a simple, easy completion, right? You don't have to think about it too much. These running back out routes always money. Now, the other thing I want to mention here is go ahead and put our tight end on a streak, just like this. And then I also want to put my running back on an in route now. So now we have kind of an in route with the crosser. Kind of creates a nice little concept for us. These halfback in routes, you can throw it to them soon. You can throw it to them late. It doesn't really matter. You can cut back in. I mean, that's an easy eight yards right there. Halfback in routes, um, as we've talked about on the channel here, are so effective in Madden 22. Same thing here. This time we're going to wait. We should have D-Hop as he clears out. That's why we brought the streak. on. That's why we put the streak there at the tight end. He cleared out to bring the safety all the way back allowing us to throw to D-Hop as he cleared the cover too. This time it's man coverage, and he's hat back in routes. Absolute money versus man coverage, and that's James Conner. If I would have Edmonds there, it'd be even a bigger play, but we will take what we can get there. And the only other setup that I'll mention here, go ahead and put your tight end on a streak. We're going to actually motion Y over to the right and put him on a slant. I'll also put the running back on a little out route once again. So now we have a high-low with the slant and the crosser coming over the middle. We'll kind of wait. We're getting pressured a lot here, but luckily we have should have D-Hop. Yeah, it's kind of a... A lucky one right there. We're getting pressured a lot by this Miami defense right now. But let's go ahead and set that up again. Motion over Y here. Running back on an out route. Tight end on a streak. And usually you're stressing the user over the middle with this slant cross or combo. So we should be able to pick one here. This time, oh, I mean, they played all out coverage right there. So that was pretty good defense. But we had the crosser on the sideline. It was a little late with the read. But I do want to try to hit this slant. One time, if I can. I love the slant more versus man coverage, too. You're going to get a little boost off the line versus man coverage like this. See if we have man here. We do have man coverage here. 
but he got stuck, but we do have D-hop across the middle. So depending on where the user goes, where they go with the cross or where they go with the slant, you make the right read. One of them is usually going to be open majority of the time. All right, guys, now we'll get into the cluster formations. These are staples of Madden, you know, one of the coolest formations you can run in the game. We'll go ahead and look at the cluster normal formation. A lot of good plays in here that we can look at. You know, we got verticals. We got a slip screen. We got mesh. We got mesh post. We got 518 hook, cluster bunch, Z spot. But the play I want to take a look at is Z spot shake. Absolutely love this play. I'm going to run verse cover three. Is That's what's my favorite verse. Um, we're going to move the ball to the middle of the field again here. And you have flood concepts on both sides. That's why I absolutely love it, right? So what you want to do is I like to put B on a streak here, just like that. Then I want to put my running back here on a wheel route. You can do an out route as well if you prefer. Um, either one works. I like to do the wheel. So what you're looking for here, and we'll start with the left side, but we're basically flooding both sidelines here, right? So this is why we stretch the field to the sidelines because um, the user usually stays in the middle of the field, right? And we always want to avoid the user when passing. So we'll take a look to the left side. And we want to read the defenders after we hike it. If it's a basic zone coverage, if they're playing back, you know, immediately when we hike it, if we see the defenders kind of run back a little bit, we want to just check it down to our wheel, right? It's a high-low over here. If we see them playing down underneath into hard flats, that's when we want to wait, hit Hopkins on the sidelines behind the hard flat defender. So let's go ahead. You see there, immediately that, that outside linebacker just uh, ran back about two, three yards. We immediately know we have our underneath wheel route getting underneath that coverage. Let's go ahead and do it again here. You see here, boom, right there. He jumps back onto the current corner. We're going to wait, and we're going to check it down to our wheel. And that's an easy five yards, easy completion. So then um, I know the defense, they're in curl flats here, so they're playing back. But if they were to play hard flats underneath, if we can wait here, you would see we'd have Hopkins come behind him on the sideline. So obviously it doesn't do it here, but that would be the case over there as well. Then on the right side, we're going to have our, flat, our, our flood concept here with the corner route and the uh, flat route. Now, the streak is there in case it's just a blown coverage or something. Sometimes you can beat them deep over the top, but really we're looking for the corner route or the tight end flat. And these tight end flats are absolute money in Madden 22. Um, even hard flat defenders sometimes don't play these flats underneath, so we're able to take advantage of that. You see there, the defender, he just kind of sitting back. You know, we're able to complete that for an easy five-yard completion. So you want to read these outside defenders and see if they're playing back or playing underneath, right? Once again, he's playing back. We just check it down all day long. So it's a simple read. Really love this play versus zone coverage. Let's jump into the next play. All right, guys, let's go over to the cluster strong formation here. We're going to take a look at the play mesh post. Of course, this formation has great plays as well. We got Z-spot. We got post dig, flanker drive, verticals, post curls is good. We got a slip screen. We got a quick base. We have a lot of great plays in here as well. But we want to take a look at the mesh post. Uh, play we love this versus zone coverage as well so what you have here is we're gonna have a hatback wheel flat combo on the right that we're gonna utilize we also have a backside post hitch combo so what i like to do is put rb here kirk on a little flat road just like that right now with Ertz, you can kind of do whatever you want with him you can create different things here for this example i'm gonna put Ertz on a drag route right so you want to press y a and down the right stick or or um, triangle X and down the right stick, and then I'm going to put Hopkins on a streak over here on the left to kind of clear out the zones for B coming across on that post, right? So first, we're going to have our halfback wheel flat combo over there on the right. That's one of the best routes in the game. As you guys know on the channel, I always love this halfback wheel flat combo. You want to low pass that wheel as soon as he cuts up the field. If not, we're going to come look to the backside for either the drag or the post coming across to the left. So let's go ahead and run a few times here. You see here, Connor kind of gets in that little area. Ah, the, the linebacker played that pretty good there. But sometimes if, there's, if the yellow zone isn't there, we can throw that little low pass as soon as the as soon as soon Connor cuts up. Because of the way this play set up, I'm going to put him on an actual hot-routed wheel. But it'll work with this wheel too. But for the sake of this video and to get a little more spacing, I'm going to put him on a hot-routed wheel. You see there, right there. It gets that little area in between the zones. We want to low pass that and possession catch it every time. So then say they're going to go have to start to use that route over there, right? They go to use that. That's when we come backside here. We have either the drag or the post coming across the middle. And you just want to read the, def the, the defense, read the user defenders, see where they're guarding. Um, if they're coming down hard on the tight end, maybe we can wait. Let's see if we can roll out here and hit B across the middle, just like that for a big play on the post. So you're either looking for the drag or the post coming back to the left side if they go over to guard your wheel route. One other thing that I like to mention here, you can also just put Hopkins on a hitch. I like that little high-low with the hitch post. Ertz, you, we'll just put him on a streak for the sake of this video, get him out of the way. But then you come over here to the backside. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? They're coming down on X on the hitch. We're going to just throw to our post deep down the sidelines for a big play. Obviously, A.J. Green wasn't able to hang on to that. 
but we'll set it up one more time here this time one last time we'll look over here to connor on that little low pass wheel route it's impossible for the computer to defend that they're going to have to use that route because it's so good so hope you guys enjoyed this free ebook here in the arizona cardinals playbook if you did make sure to smash that like button comment down below your thoughts subscribe to the channel follow me on all social medias if you guys want to improve at your madden game check out my coaching sessions check out my ebooks down below and the links in the description appreciate you guys man until next time which we'll be doing plenty we'll be doing all 32 team breakdowns here 32 free ebooks Make sure you guys are locked in on the channel. Appreciate you guys, man. Until next time, peace.